I would just like to take this moment to appreciate that I put lemon bars on my two-tiered lemon plate tray. Can we just appreciate this amazingness? Because like it was made for this. So I'm super happy about that. Just had to share that with you guys. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas. So I am making my layered fruit and custard dessert here that will be shaped like an American flag. Well, decorated like an American flag when it is finished. So I have, I actually baked off two boxes of um, boxed yellow cake mix. I have strawberries, I have raspberries, I have some Cool Whip. This is two boxes of the Hershey's vanilla pudding that I actually let set overnight in the fridge. And then I have a whole mess of blueberries. And the fruit is all for the flag. Um, the finished product I will be making in that disposable lasagna pan from Dollar Tree, uh, the one that I bought with the blue cover. So I just wanted to show you all this stuff first to give you an idea for inspiration. And I will be just kind of slicing this cake in pieces, um, probably thirds and um, maybe a third or four cut this way and then maybe three layers deep. So I will just be slicing that off to be able to layer off with the custard and um, a little bit of the Cool Whip and everything in the finished product. So I'm going to um, go ahead and slice that off before we begin. And also the strawberries should be halved or quartered depending on the size, but you want the red to show. Now, unfortunately, I did mention one of my aunts is allergic to strawberries, <clears throat> but I am going to see... Um, I mean, I made four desserts, so she'll be okay, but I'm gonna use both. Um, the reason why I didn't go all raspberries, this little tiny container was almost $3. Um, and you need more red than anything else, uh, if you're familiar with the American flag. So that would have just been ludicrous. We would have been working with like a $20 dessert, and at that point, it's not worth it. So I'm gonna use both. And we'll see what happens. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything prepared and then I'll be right back for the assembly. Now, if you can just see what I'm doing here, I'm doing it right in the pan using a bread knife. And I went three sections of cake as well as three deep. And if it breaks, that's okay, because we're layering it. Nope, that one's actually okay. Okay, so this is the last third. Okay, so I just have basically big slices of cake, you know, left to work with for all the layering. And again, if it crumbles and it breaks, no big deal because we're just layering that with some cream and everything in the pan. And one extremely important step or ingredient that I forgot to mention was the canned fruit that I'm using. So I have chosen apricot halves and these giant cans of peach halves. And I have two of each. And I actually only drained one of the cans. I only drained one of the big cans of peach halves because I decided that I want to try to use the syrup from the cans, and I'm not sure how much it'll take, but to try to soak that sponge a little bit. 
to give it even more moisture and flavor so it's not so dry and crumbly with just the um, fruit and cream on it. So that's what we are going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do now um, on this particular pan, they put the price tag right there, the barcode. So I had to peel that off and obviously always make sure you wash and dry your pans when you buy them. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is layer cake down in here and then begin the process. All right, so I will begin with that. I am just going to place cake down at the bottom. And I will show you. Ooh, that's nice and moist. It doesn't even really need much syrup. <laughs> but let me just show you. So that's what it's looking like right now. I just filled the bottom with cake and now I'm going to go ahead and put some syrup on that, then some of the cream, the um, pudding, right? The pudding and the fruit and then we'll repeat. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little bit of the syrup But like I said, that's nice and moist, so. Okay, next, we are going to take some of the vanilla pudding. And spread a nice layer on there. And I will show you that as well. Okay, so that's all I did. I just put some of the vanilla pudding on top of that syrup soaked yellow cake and now I will place the fruit and then I will show you that as well. Okay, so now I am just going to place these peach halves in here. Oh, this is going to be a very high, <laughs> a very high dessert. I could have sliced these, but. Okay, so that is one can of the peach halves. That was that. Actually, let me show you because I think I'm just going to cut this with a spoon. So I don't know if you can see the height on these peach halves, um, but they're really, really high. So I think I'm just going to go ahead um, with that spoon and just cut them all in half. That way the cake will lay a little flatter and then I'm going to add um, the apricots on here as well. So I'm just gonna take this um, tablespoon because they are pretty, actually, I don't wanna smush anything. Let me just grab a little knife. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go in and cut these in half. So they lay slightly flatter because remember we have a whole nother layer. So we don't want to go crazy, crazy. You see that? <laughs> okay. Okay. 
and some that are really big I'm cutting in more than half okay all right that's better that's better so I just went ahead and cut those up a little bit now I will add the little apricot halves those are tiny so that's not a problem just gonna go ahead and add these apricot halves for a little bit of a different flavor but because everything is canned I don't know if there'll be too much of a difference but we shall see So this is where we're at right now with the peaches and the apricots. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process with the cake and the cream and the syrup and the fruit, and that should be it. I don't even know if I could fit more fruit. We'll see what happens. Okay, I'm just going ahead and adding another layer of cake. We are pretty high to the top. So, I feel like possibilities are limited. I'm actually going to thin this out a little bit. Okay, so that's one more layer of cake. I'm just going to put more syrup on there. Another layer of vanilla pudding. I missed a spot. So this will be the rest of the vanilla pudding. then we just go ahead and smooth that out one more time so this is the one layer of fruit that you saw I can't fit any more so we have to stop here um, I used up all of the pudding. This is what cake is left. I probably could have gone with one box, depending on what size tray you use, keep that in mind. Now this should chill in the fridge for about 30 minutes um, to get that nice and firm so you can put your Cool Whip layer on there. Okay, so this has rested in the fridge and chilled for about 30 minutes. And that is actually very convenient because it gives you time to prepare all your fruit so now is the hardest part <laughs> now is putting the cool whip on and I know I should have gotten two buckets because it's going to be very hard to spread on another soft substance <sighs> but here goes nothing so I'm just going to go ahead and do this the way that I would normally do my cakes so I am going to put the entire tub on to the dessert and I am using my icing tool because that is what I am most comfortable with and I know I have the most control over so I'm just going to spread it out this is the base for the fruit flag so I want to try to get it as smooth as possible and I'm just going to pretend I'm doing a cake here like I said that's where I'm comfortable <laughs> so we will just smooth this out and it looks like one bucket is gonna be enough. Thank goodness I was not in the mood for an emergency. So almost done here. And that is about that step. Okay, now for the decorating part. I'm gonna start with the corner 
the blue side. So I'm gonna start with just making a square. I'm trying to pick blueberries that are slightly uniform in color, and I'm trying to guess the ratios of what'll make it look good, the square versus the stripes. That one was too small. So I first complete the square. I am going to attempt something. Don't know if it'll work or not, but we shall see. So to make it look neater, I'm going to do all four sides of the square in the blueberries. And it kind of stinks because I'm trying to rush this. Like I said, I have four desserts going today and I want to help get over there uh, to help my mom decorate. And I still want to put my pretty nails on. So, okay, need a tiny one there, unfortunately. That's annoying, okay. All right, so I'm gonna try something abstract. If it fails, I'll go back to the way I know works. I want it to resemble the stars. And mm, no, I don't think this is going to work. No, I don't like it. All right, so <sighs> I'm going to go back to the way that I know, which is to stagger the blueberries almost like bricks like you're laying a brick pattern. You just fill this in and the white of the Cool Whip should give you the illusion of the stars. I'm just filling in the bottom spaces somehow. And now I'm going to do the top row with all strawberries because I'm not sure if I have enough raspberries. I will come back to that with raspberries if I have enough. Like I like I showed you in the beginning, I only have that tiny little container and I have plenty of strawberries, so we'll see. But I like to start at the top and then try to space it evenly. So here I will do strawberry quarter, raspberry, strawberry quarter, and keep alternating like that. trying to do it as straight as possible freehand while rushing as well. So then I'm alternating. Now I start with a raspberry. I wish I could have sped this up for you a little more, guys, but it didn't go more than two times. So again, trying to keep the spacing in between the lines relatively even. Uh, no. No, that has to go. <laughs> a new one. Okay, and then obviously I'm just repeating everything. So feel free to hit that skip 15 seconds button. So I got two more rows of this. 
so you can just skip ahead, skip ahead. Oh, got to dab that water off. And now I'm going to squeeze that last line actually in here at the bottom. That one was too big, so I switched it out. Okay, and I do have enough raspberries, so I'm going to go back here and keep the same pattern and switch that out with raspberries so the whole dessert matches. Okay, so that is it. That is our flag. That is our fruit dessert. Switching that out. I didn't like the size. Okay. Now I'm going to put this back in the fridge. It should stay in the fridge until it is... Hold on. I'm just fixing this blue part. Okay. Um, this should stay in the fridge until it is ready to serve. Just cleaning off the edges. I just wanted to show you the dessert covered in this Dollar Tree tray with cover. And there's plenty of room. Can you see the depth in there? Plenty, plenty, plenty of room on top of that fruit. So it is perfect. I just wanted to wish everybody a happy, healthy, and safe 4th of July. Thank everybody so much for watching. Stay blessed, my friends.